guys, um, I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about lipsticks um, because tis is fall and it is a good time to try out different colors, maybe bolder colors for fall. As you can tell today, I'm super into fall because I have my pumpkin spice latte earrings on and my shirt that my friend Denise got me that says basic are those who love pumpkin spice lattes because I'm as basic as they come and proud of it. I'm a basic bitch. So anywho, talking about lipsticks, wanted to talk about commitment level and um, how long they'll last and uh, different ones that you could try. So if you want to just have a lipstick for the day and you are like not super committed, um, what I do every single day is I start with pouty lip liner and I do my entire lips with pouty lip liner. I like pouty because it's just like a super neutral color. Like it's just kind of a, a boring beige color, which is great because it'll just kind of give me the base for anything else that I want to do. Um, probably except for like not red or something. So if you get a lip liner, if you get something super bold, like uh, for Jeanette's birthday, she already knows this, even though her birthday is not till the 17th. I got her a uh, red lip liner with red lipstick. And then that, because pouty would just be the wrong color. But for most things that I wear, pouty works fine. So I just start with that. Then if I want to do something that like I'm going to have to reapply a couple times during the day, um, but I don't really care, um, I'll do like a lip gloss. Like today, I'm actually wearing this lip gloss called Livid. It's, um, I only have it in a sample color, but I'm going to get the actual tube. So lip, I, sometimes I wear this one called Lucky, which is not super duper, um, it doesn't look like, it looks dark on the thing, uh, in the thing, but you can make it as dark as you want by layering. So if you put it on, it's kind of a light purple color that's like a brown. That looks really good over, um, over pouty lip liner. Um, also the cool thing about lucrative lip glosses is that they come with a mirror. So you can put them on, you know, throughout the day a couple times. Um, also I like to wear Lux, which is a kind of, again, it's a real neutral color. If I don't really know what I want to wear, I'll just wear Lux. Um, if it like, I just don't feel like I'm in a mood for something. And then this is just sparkly. Um, it's called Loyal, so it just adds sparkly to whatever I'm wearing. Um, but if I wanna like, and then also I could do lip bonbons. Lip bonbons are really, really nourishing, so they make your lips super duper soft. This is the color Raspberry Cheesecake, so it is like kind of a shimmery pink color and you can't even barely see it, but on your lips, it looks really pretty, just like, again, for applying throughout the day, and it doesn't really matter what you're wearing, everything will go. And it comes in a couple different colors. So then, if you want a little bit more commitment, you can step it up and just do like a classic lipstick. This one is my one of my favorite colors, it's called Upscale, it's like a really light pink. So um, it's really, really pretty and it was almost like a champagne pink and it's got some sparkle and then you could just put some lip gloss over that. That is going to last, you know, most of the day, but you're going to have to reapply um, a couple times a day, especially if you eat anything that is oily, it'll just make your lipstick come right off. So that's a little bit like less commitment. Also in that same vein is powder lipstick. I love this stuff because it is a powder. So if you're traveling, it doesn't count as liquid. So if you look at it, it's got, um, it's actually a powder, but if you put it, once you put it on something warm like your lips, it becomes a, um, it becomes a, sort of a sateen. It's really, really soft. So I really like this one, especially for traveling because I like this color. The color, this one is um, contrite. I like this one because it just goes with everything. It's like a nice neutral and I can use it for traveling because it's a powder and carry it in my purse. Then if you want a little bit more commitment after that, I would do a splash lipstick. So splash lipstick is gonna last probably half the day. You might need to reapply it once during the day. This one is a really pr pretty color, but I think it might've been um, like a limited edition. It's called Secure. It might still, we might still have Secure, but it is really, really pretty. It's like a rose gold color. It's a little bit bolder. And again, um, it's got almost like a matte finish. So um, I put lip gloss over this because I like a little bit more sparkly. Then if you wanna go full in, lip stain. Lip stain 
is great because it literally lasts like all day. Like it will not come off. You have to kind of work to get it off. So it stains your lips and you can layer it. But for me, I like this, but you, and you can do it as pigmented as you want. This one is shy. So it looks red in the tube, but it's actually like a pink color. So you can layer it, but with you, when you use a lip stain, you're going to want to, um, uh, take care of your lips because if you have dry lips, it'll just fall right into the cracks. So you're going to want to um, exfoliate your lips first. So with the exfoliator, you start, I actually exfoliated this morning just because I knew my lips needed it. You just put the exfoliation on, it tastes like sugar and it feels like sugar. And then you, and then you take it off with a towel and that'll make your lips nice and soft. So whatever lipstick you have, especially this time of year when your lips are easily chapped, it will make your lipstick last longer and look better because your lips will be really smooth and you won't be getting those uh, crevices in your lips where your lipstick is going to fall into. So anywho, those are my lipstick suggestions. Um, so if you uh, have any questions, but my thing is... It's really good to just play around with some lip colors because it's fall. And um, with lipstick, again, you, I mean, unless you go full on um, with a lip stain, you only have to commit like part of the day and you can always just take it off. But it's a really nice addition and it just really kind of adds a little oomph to your day, makes you feel a lot more confident. And also, you know, when you see somebody who's wearing a really bold lip, you know, you should compliment them and say uh how awesome their lipstick looks because it's kind of brave um but um yeah so also if you're concerned about colors um I posted a little meme a couple days ago about if you are cool or a warm or a neutral so you can try to stay within those guidelines if you want but if you want to try something a little bit more bold like just try it if you don't like it you can always return it so um those are my lipsticks uh discussion um, but yeah, so have fun with fall. Fall is a time to play with your makeup and have a little bit more fun than you normally would, um, which is what I'm doing. So yeah, and maybe, you know, wear your aggressively fall earrings and your aggressively fall face and your aggressively fall shirt because it's the best season. Um, all right, guys, have a good day and I will talk to you later about things and stuff, probably wine. Um, uh, actually, two. the thing with wine this fall, I'm going to do a wine series of memes starting in November about preparing for Thanksgiving and going outside of your comfort zone when it comes to wine. So um, thanks, Kristen. Um, so again, you know, try your challenge before November is to look for a wine, the different color from what you normally drink. So if you normally drink reds, try a white. Um, and then try it in the same sweetness level. So I'm going to post a meme about this later, but you can always talk to a wine expert at like Total Wine or More um, or wherever you're going to buy your wine. Um, talk to the sommelier that works there and just say, hey, I want to get a little outside of my comfort zone because it's fall, because it's a time for like change. And, um, you know, just like if you like a Chardonnay, you know, maybe um, go to a red and try a Pinot Noir. Those are about the same sweetness levels and see if you like it. If you don't, you know, again, you look back at my video for Coravin because Coravins are amazing. You can try one glass. If you don't like it, gift it to a friend. Um, just say, hey, I siphoned one glass out of this. It wasn't really my jam. So um, Coravins, again, a little bit of a commitment as far as money goes, 100% worth it. So, all right, guys, talk to you later.